So today we're going to do something a little different. We're actually going to integrate Systems Manager into our SecureX dashboard. Now this is a new integration, but it is incredibly simple to do. So the first thing that we're going to do is go up to Integration Modules. And if you've not already done so, click plus for Device Insights. This will then allow you to see your devices. Now, don't worry if you don't see anything here at the moment. The next thing that we're going to do is go back to Integration Modules. I'm going to search for Systems Manager. And there it is. So let's add this. Now, it's going to ask for two things, the API key and your network ID. And we'll get these. So the first thing to do is go back to our dashboard, to organization and to settings. And if you already know your API key, you can skip this step, but we can enable it here. So let's just paste in our API key into here. The next step is to get the network ID. Now this is going to take a little bit more work, but it's relatively straightforward as well. Now we're actually going to use the API to get this. Now we can get the organization ID directly from the dashboard, but I'm going to take you through how we can get both the organization ID and the network ID to use in our SecureX dashboard. So we're going to go to developer.cisco.com forward slash Meraki. This web page tells you everything that you need to know about using the Meraki API. So let's go to Docs and let's go to Dashboard API. Now, as you can see, there's an awful lot of APIs on the left hand side there. So we're going to copy our API key and we're going to go up to the little search bar here and just type in org. We click Get Organizations, this brings up the Get Organizations API call. And if we click Configuration, we can actually paste in our API key, which I will do now, and click Save. If I run this, this will bring back all of the different organizations that this API key is a member of. And as you can see here, we've got the organization that we need. So let's just copy that. We can now go up to here and just type in networks. And we can get organization networks. We can enter the organization ID and click run. And this will bring back all of the different network IDs that we need. Now the, the one at the top here is the one that we're involved in. So let's copy that. Let's go back to our SecureX dashboard, paste in that, and click Save. As you can see on the right-hand side, and above the configuration, this integration module has been added successfully. So now we can go to Insights, and you will see that we have some devices in here. We can go to Sources, and you will see that we have Meraki Systems Manager in our list now. So let's synchronize this. You can see that I've already got AMP and Umbrella in this dashboard, and we've had a successful synchronization. So if we go back to Inventory Overview, we will see all of the different devices. Now what we're going to do is we're going to actually create a new filter. I only want to see these devices here, Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS. And as you can see, we now got all of these different devices here. You can see which devices are not managed, such as this one, and which devices are managed up here. We can also see end of life OS and also out of date OS status. We've got lots of other things that we can do in here. 
but this is just a starter on how to get Systems Manager integrated into SecureX. Thank you.